Not long ago, rail lines were the main link between the various communities in Southern California. The Venice Short Line, one of the most heavily traveled lines in the Pacific Electric System, served Culver City until 1950. Longtime Culver City resident Ralph Larkin documented on film the declining days of rail travel in Southern California as freeways replaced railroad tracks throughout the region. The Venice Short Line traveled to Santa Monica and delivered passengers to the beach until the fall of 1950. The streetcars would be replaced by buses. This car, shown at Palisades Park in Santa Monica, was built in 1924 by the Pacific Electric. They were first designed to serve the movie colony and were called the Hollywood Cars. The Redondo Del Rey line used the same route as the Venice Short Line to Culver City, but there it turned south on Culver Boulevard, continuing west to Playa Del Rey and on down the coast through El Segundo, Hermosa, Manhattan Beach, ending in Redondo Beach. Its passenger service lasted until 1940. When Harry Culver was looking for the right site to build his dream city, he noticed the link between Abbott Kenny's Venice in America and downtown Los Angeles was an electric railway line with railway junctions midway. This is where he decided to build Culver City. The Pacific Electric is fondly remembered for its passenger service, but it was also a major freight carrier. One line that still exists today in Culver City is the old airline which ran from downtown to Santa Monica in almost a straight line. It was built as a steam railway in 1875 by the Los Angeles and Independent Railway. The Southern Pacific bought the line in 1877, hoping that Santa Monica would become the port of Los Angeles. Unfortunately, or maybe fortunately, Santa Monica lost out to San Pedro. In April of 1961, Ralph Larkin boarded the Pacific Electric train to Long Beach and recorded this footage one week before the line closed down. This was the end of the passenger service of the Pacific Electric Railway. The Metropolitan Transit Authority bought this right away when it became available to hold for future needs. With freeways now not so free, maybe that need is now. <laughs>